to be able to get a log off any of the Harvest Right freeze dryers that's been made in the last few years, the first thing you want to notice is you finished your cycle. So you should be able to see this screen, which basically shows that it's ready to go. And then you want to come to the side of the machine and put a USB stick. You can use almost any USB stick. It doesn't hold that much. Plug it in and then simply turn the power switch off. Wait a second or two and then turn the power switch on. And now we'll zoom into the screen. And as soon as it comes back on, you'll see it flash updating firmware, which it's not doing because there's none on it. And then you saw it writing to the USB. You're now done. And now you have everything you need on the USB stick. So that's all that's necessary to get the data onto the USB stick. From there, you're going to remove the USB stick and you're going to put it in your computer. Okay, so once you've put your log files onto the USB, remember it's going to copy all the log files of the things you've made for the last few months. You're going to simply slide it into one of the USB slots that exist in your computer. And it may bring up another dialog, it may not doesn't really matter but just go ahead and close that and then what you're gonna do is you're just like you would send a normal email message so we'll just click compose and you're gonna want to send it to me and this is Lloyd at family and you can say anything you want here is Lloyd's log and then you're going to go to however you attach messages and we'll just in this one you just click on the attach button yours might change and you're going to notice you have a lot of drives you have USB drive you have a small drive it turns out the one that I just put in there is called small and in it you'll see a directory called harvest and you want to click on harvest double click on harvest. Now important to look here you will notice you have a whole bunch of files and they have weird names. The names actually make a little sense if you look you can get to the ones that have the date so this is 2017 and this was the 24th and you get your time. You'll also notice you have a lot of little files like 1k and 1k. Ignore all of those those are every time you turn your device on and off or it finishes something it makes one. So Pick the one that's about the right date and it will show the date you started to do the batch. So that would be the date that was started. And then you just simply select it by clicking on it and then roll down to the bottom of the screen and say open. And it'll tell you to upload the file. And that went ahead and uploaded it. And then come into the message and to, to help me out a little to know what I'm looking at. You're now just going to fill in some information and I'm going to go ahead and cheat and type really fast and basically my freeze dryer is small and it's it's essential that I know whether this is a small a medium or a large freeze dryer or I can't calculate the power and if you could say what the batch is is it is corn and how much did it weigh before you're freeze drying it the only thing that absolutely has to be here is your freeze dryer and it's going to be either a small, a medium, or a large. The rest helps us know and kind of be able to build information about what's there. And this will allow us to tell us how much it costs per pound. If uh, you don't mind, if it's okay for us to be able to put this on a website, just say it is okay to post. And then we can go ahead and post it so other people could see this is what it costs to do corn for five pounds in this type. Um, we can leave names and everything. There'll be names will be left off it, and, or so there'll be no personal information in it, unless you want the information. Once that is done, you simply push send, and once you've sent the message, then we'll get it and we'll go ahead and process that and then we'll send you back a PDF that shows you what the cycle looks like, how much it costs, how much per pound, and uh, quite a bit more information.